Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. In today's video, we will be going over predictions for who Boba and Fennec Shand could potentially hire in the Book of Boba Fett. By the end of the Book of Boba Fett Chapter 4, we see that Boba and Fennec are looking for others to help them fight the Pike Syndicate. And here are some characters they could potentially hire in the Book of Boba Fett Chapter 5 or later. Din Djarin The most likely recruit for Boba and Fennec seems to be Din Djarin. The Book of Boba Fett Episode 4's ending included the theme from The Mandalorian right after Fennec mentions paying someone to work with them. That has led to great speculation that Din will be the one to answer the call. This would make sense on several levels too. It gives the Book of Boba Fett a chance to include The Mandalorian's main character and possibly creates a bit more interest in the series. Meanwhile, it should also fit with Din Djarin's timeline, as he might be up for a fight after watching Grogu leave with Luke Skywalker. Since Din also spent much of his time on Tatooine and helping liberate parts of it from the remnants of the Empire, his decision to fight back against the Pikes is in character. The Children of the Watch Boba Fett and Fennec Shand could also set their sights on a larger batch of recruits than just one Mandalorian and seek out the Children of the Watch for help. The Mandalorian cult was featured in The Mandalorian, as Din was raised as one of their foundlings. He was part of the tribe group who emerged from hiding in The Mandalorian Season 1 to aid Din. However, this led to their enclave being destroyed and the Children of the Watch scattering, including the Armorer. It is possible that Boba and Fennec will find a few of their members and hire them to fight the Pikes alongside them. Bo-Katan Kryze Boba Fett could also team up with different Mandalorians and hire Bo-Katan Kryze to help take down the Pike Syndicate. It is unknown what happened to Bo-Katan after the Mandalorian Season 2 finale, but she could be in a dark place after failing to acquire the Darksaber properly. She might be ready for some action if Boba Fett comes calling. The two of them are familiar with each other thanks to their involvement with Din Djarin, so Boba may know where he can find her. If he does approach Bo-Katan with an opportunity to take out the Pikes, who do have a history with the fall of Mandalore, then it might be the right circumstances for her to say yes. Cobb Vanth There is also an argument to be made that Boba Fett should hire Cobb Vanth to protect Tatooine. He was previously featured in The Mandalorian Season 2, where he was the mayor and sheriff of Mos Pelgo. Cobb Vanth used Boba Fett's armor to free the town before, but agreed to give the suit to Din once Mos Pelgo was safe. News of the Pike Syndicate coming to Tatooine will not sit well with Cobb Vanth, especially if they're trying to bring Mos Pelgo under their control. For that reason, Cobb Vanth should jump at the opportunity to take down the Pikes as long as Boba agrees to leave Mos Pelgo alone should they succeed. Megs Mayfeld The Book of Boba Fett Episode 5's crew is also an opportunity for Megs Mayfeld to return. The skilled mercenary and sharpshooter was last seen in The Mandalorian Season 2, where he worked with Boba Fett as part of Din Djarin's team. His involvement in the mission led Cara Dune to fake his death so Mayfeld could be left free on Morak. Boba Fett knows this is Mayfeld's last location and he had no immediate means of transportation off the planet. Since Boba is also aware of Mayfeld's skills and willingness to do any job for the right price, it would make sense for him and Fennec to seek out Bill Burr's character. Cad Bane Beyond characters already featured in The Mandalorian's corner of the galaxy far, far away, Boba Fett and Fennec Shand could also hire other major Star Wars characters such as Cad Bane. The legendary bounty hunter made his debut in Star Wars The Clone Wars, but more recently returned in Star Wars The Bad Batch. He shared a history with Boba Fett too, as Cad Bane is Boba Fett's bounty hunting mentor. There is also plans for The Clone Wars to reveal Cad Bane was responsible for putting the dent in Boba Fett's helmet. The Book of Boba Fett could be a chance for them to reunite to fight the Pikes together, and for Cad Bane to make his live-action debut. Bosk The Book of Boba Fett could also give audiences a chance to see Boba Fett and Bosk team up to take on the Pikes Syndicate. Bosk also helped mentor Boba as a child, and the two were seen together among the bounty hunters Darth Vader assembled in The Empire Strikes Back. It is not known what became of Bosk following the original trilogy, but his last known location was with Boba Fett in Jabba's palace. It would be quite ironic if this is where they reunite to fight side by side. IG-88 
The Book of Boba Fett could also bring back IG-88 to fight alongside Boba Fett and Fennec Shand. The bounty hunter from The Empire Strikes Back is confirmed to live well beyond the events of the current Disney Plus series, and The Mandalorian already has the IG-11 model that could be retrofitted to be IG-88 instead. Since audiences never got the chance to see IG-88 in action, The Book of Boba Fett could be where the assassin droid shows what it is capable of. And there you have it. Thanks for watching everyone. Who do you think they will hire? Let us know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. We hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair. You are not a Jedi yet.